Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. The Android 2.3 Gingerbread SDK has just been released, and with it we get the new M emulator so that we can try Gingerbread on a computer. So in this video, we're going to walk through Gingerbread, tell you about all the new stuff that has come along. Let's get to it. <laughs> So Gingerbread is a lot about gaming, increases in gaming performance, gyroscope support, a lot of other things that will help developers make better games for Android. There's also a lot of stuff for communications like internet calling built right into the operating system so you can actually go into the phone dialer and use a, a voice over IP service to make a call instead of doing it over the cellular provider. Um, there's also new support for cameras so that developers can better take advantage of the front facing camera for video chat. And then there's a lot of minor user interface changes, as we're going to see mostly through this video. Uh, the top bar is now black. The icons have more detail to them. Some of them are colorized with a little bit more green. Overall, not that big of a jump from Android 2.2 to 2.3, which is why they didn't go with the title Android 3.0. They're saving that for a big leap. So let's talk about Android 2.3 here. So the notification bar on the top is now black. Stock Android 2.2 was white. If we pull down the notification shade, it's also a little bit different. It looks the same, but it uses black and gray instead of white and gray, uh, as we found in Android 2.2. So we can roll that back up. You know, things like the phone icon are different, as you can see here in the center. Uh, down here, these three buttons along the bottom are colorized green, or especially the phone and the web icon. Let's jump into the web real quick. Not much has changed there, except there's a, a better way to copy things. Now, of course, we're running this as an emulator, so it's not going to be as fast as you'll see on, say, you know, the Google Nexus S that's coming out in December. Uh, so, so bear with us as the screens load and things are a little bit choppy. Let's say we want to copy some text. Okay, so we can tap and hold. I mean, this isn't new. We get now larger selection uh, handles here. We can click and drag. And if the cursor will follow me, we can select some text. Now if we tap on the selected text, watch what happens. Boom, it's copied in one step. So it's a, it's a little bit easier now to copy text in Android uh, 2.3. There's also a new on-screen keyboard. So if we tap up here in the address bar, we should get the new on-screen keyboard pop up. And there it is, the new on-screen keyboard. The keys are sp spaced out more, and now it has multi-touch capability, so you can be a little bit faster when you're typing. Also new is that the character buttons, or some of the character buttons, now have three dots on them. And when you see those three dots, you know that there are other letters that are associated with them. So down here, the slash. If we tap and hold, we will get additional options, so we can go into settings from here. The same with the period. If we tap and hold on the period, we'll get additional punctuation pretty much all of them, question mark, exclamation point, and so on and so forth. So an improved keyboard, which is great because a lot of devices now for Android don't have slide out keyboards. Let's jump into the settings and take a look at some other minor user interface changes. So here in settings, again, we get a lot of the black theme instead of the whitish theme that we saw in Android 2.2 and below. So let's jump into some of these things like language and keyboard, and you're going to see a new sort of checkbox. So now, as you can see, uh, the check boxes are more clean. They have a green check in the middle, a nice white border, and a gray background. So a nice little subtle touch there. Let's jump into some of these menus real quick to see if there's anything that's different. Wireless and networks, pretty much the same. Let's jump out of here. Let's go into display, see if any things have been changed. We have auto-rotate screen. We've seen that. We can turn down animations, maybe make the device a little bit faster. Brightness, although this is an emulator, of course. Let's go back, jump into applications, see if there's anything new there. Install applications from unknown sources, quick launch, um, set keyboard shortcuts to launch applications, which is pretty cool. So we can actually assign various letters to launch different applications, which is quite nice, especially if there's a hardware keyboard. Not sure if this is going to be something that they roll out for devices that have the on-screen keyboard. But if so, it's a very cool feature. Let's jump back into there and go to battery use. And certainly we're not going to see any information about the battery because there is no battery installed. This is an emulator after all. Now there's a new menu that is the, of course, multitask menu. Let's go back to the home screen. There's a new menu from the home screen. So we tap menu, we have a new option, which is manage apps. 
So previously you had to go into settings and then applications and then manage apps. But from here, from the home screen, you can jump immediately into manage apps and it will bring you into uh, a little task manager that shows you sort of what is running at the, what's, what is running at the moment. The contact screen is a little bit different when you go to add a new contact. The, the interface has been spruced up a little bit and uh, bear with us as it loads here. So we're gonna go to menu and new contact and you're gonna see how things have been spruced up a little bit. So things are bigger, more finger friendly, nicer icons to do certain things here in Android 2.3. And the application drawer has been slightly updated. If you remember in Android 2.2, there was a 3D carousel and that seems to have been changed a little bit, although it's tough to tell uh, because we've only got a small grid of icons here, but it looks like the icons sort of fade away from view instead of sort of cascade away from view. And here are the programs that are built in uh, to Android 2.3 in, in at least the emulator. There's not much to work with here. We don't even get the Android market. Let's go into the gallery and see if we can see any changes there. Seems to be bouncing back out. Okay, no media found, fair enough. Let's jump back out and go to music, see if we can see any changes there. Similar kind of interface that we found in Android 2.2 and below. And one more thing, we wanna go into messaging and just see what that looks like. So of course, this is for text messaging. And I've already sent a message, it looks identical to the way it was in Android 2.2, so not many changes there. Although we get these three dots up here again, which will allow you to manipulate or do additional things with a, a contact. So presumably, if I had this person stored in my address book, Tapping on those three dots would allow you to uh, call the person, message them, or do an internet call. Just a, a better visual representation that there are additional options available should you want to action on this person. So that was a quick walkthrough of Android 2.3. When we get it on a device, we're going to do a more comprehensive walkthrough. It's really hard to get a full representation of uh, what the new version of, of Android is going to be like through an emulator. We're also going to put instructions on pocketnow.com if you want to try out Android 2.3 on your own with this emulator. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out pocketnow.com for smartphone news and reviews. Thanks for watching. That's it for now.